Mr Batten, for one minute. President, uh, this own initiative report on the Professional Qualifications Directive is another piece of ideologically driven harmonisation. It calls for minimum training requirements, automatic recognition and the removing of formal obstacles to recognition of professional qualifications. It goes on, quote, only if necessary should language tests be part of the recognition process and cannot be an additional border to mobility, unquote. Now, most normal people would want professional qualifications, especially medical qualifications, to be subject to maximum standards, not minimum. And not speaking the language properly should very much be a bar to practicing and mobility. And there is a case that clearly demonstrates the dangers. In 2008, a German qualified doctor, Dr. Daniel Urbani, was convicted in England of gross negligence and manslaughter after he overscribed drugs to a patient. This directive means we cannot discriminate against EU professionals, while we must discriminate against properly qualified and fluent English speakers from the Commonwealth. This is another good reason, if we needed one, why Britain should leave the European Union. Mr. Batten, uh, well, I said this is not an ideological text, but Ms. Ford as well mentioned uh, an individual uh, areas. But maybe I can mention that the directive, when it comes to doctors, it contains some very clear obligations linked to linguistic skills. And it's up to the member states in an objective and robust and rigorous fashion, use the tools that are at their disposal in this directive and exploit them to the full to make sure that the competence and capacity of these people are, uh, are up to scratch. And there is an option then of a test of linguistic skills.